I've never been much of a fan of the term toxic masculinity because of how easily it can be misinterpreted as meaning that masculinity itself is toxic. There are some types of masculinity or things that it should be called pseudo-masculinity that get taught to boys that are harmful. You know, one of them being, oh, never show your feelings. Don't talk about your feelings. Um... Other ones having to do with what gets pushed onto, onto guys is this your sex drive and your sexuality is more important than anything else. You know, stuff like that. Um, there are ways that competition can be used in a very negative way. Not competition itself, but there are certain ways that it can be used. I mean, there... But the thing is, even when someone tries to explain what, what toxic masculinity really is, even when trying to explain it, it's still so easy to misinterpret it as saying that masculinity itself is toxic. And because of this, I think the term should be abolished. As far as I'm concerned, if you want to have a reasonable discussion with someone, if you want someone to see negative standards that are pushed onto men, then don't use that term. There are a number of feminists out there who have ran with the term as, as a way of basic, basically bludgeoning the use of an academic term against men in general. Well, it's an academic term, so if you don't understand it, then you just need to get educated. It's just like that's a you don't have good faith when you when you use when you use it that way and when you say that phrase you just need to get educated. You don't have good faith. You're just wanting to use it as a bludgeon against people. Sorry. Um Now, some people think that toxic masculinity that that term was originally coined by feminists. Well, no, it was originally coined by men's rights activists in the 1980s and the 1990s. But uh, feminists have sure taken and ran with it, haven't they? Anyway, Meryl Streep recently made some statements against the term toxic masculinity, and she's receiving some heat for it from the typical sources. But uh, I, I commend her for it. She obviously knows what it means, even though some of the people speaking against her are saying that, that she doesn't. No, she knows what it means. She just, like I said earlier in this video, she doesn't like how it gets misinterpreted so easily. So why use it? Especially when boys hear that, hear the term, they're going to think, oh, masculinity is, is toxic. So then what do they connect with? And some feminists make it seem like they shouldn't have to connect with anything. It's just like, no, they, they do have to connect with something. What are you giving them to connect with? Oh, be more like women? That's not a, that's not a realistic message. Anyway, Meryl Streep said the following. Sometimes I think we're hurt. We hurt our boys by calling something toxic masculinity. I do. And I don't find that putting those two words together... And she had a pause. Because women can be pretty fucking toxic. It's toxic people. We have our good angles and we have our bad ones. I think the labels are less helpful than what we're trying to get to, which is, which is a communication direct between human beings. We're all on the boat together. We've got to make it work. Great. Great. I, I hope that she isn't made to reverse her position out of the bullying she's probably going to receive. I commend her for saying that. Just saying.